thinking and communication problem. For the function f of x equals 2, it's a piecewise function, so it's equal to cx minus 1 whole cube when x is between minus infinity to 2, 2 not included, and it's equal to c square x square minus 3 when the function domain is from 2 to infinity, 2 is included. Now, determine values of c such that the function is continuous at x equals to 2. I think this is one of the most important piecewise function which I have seen. Uh, and its importance is because I have seen it as a thinking and communication problem in advanced functions where you talk about polynomials and piecewise functions. I have seen it in limits. So when you start the chapter of limits, chapter 1, we kind of do a review of what is continuous, what is discontinuous and the type of discontinuities. So it becomes a very important part there also. And, and it's not an easy problem to do since you are involved with cubic equations, right? So make a note of this, try it out and then see my suggestion. Now here is how I would like to do it. First let's try to analyze uh, this question, right? It says f of x is equal to a cubic function when it is from minus infinity to 2. That means I can sketch it like this, kind of a cubic function, right? I don't know really which part of this curve will be at 2, but let's just imagine it is like this, okay? And I'm not drawing y-axis purposely because I exactly don't know the value since I don't know what c is, right? So let's assume that this is the function which I'm trying to sketch for cx minus 1 whole cube from minus infinity to 2. I know the nature of the curve cubic will be like this and I've, I'm assuming c as a positive number for the time being. And let's say this is my line which is at x equals to 2, right? So that's the cubic function. And now the other half of this is a parabola, right? So it seems very clear. That's x squared minus 3. And we are assuming c to be positive. So the parabola will be kind of like this, right? So we don't know exactly which part will fit in where. But well, it seems that whatever c may be, the vertex is at 0, right? So, so somewhere here like this, so it will be it may be increasing, decreasing, but kind of could be like this, right? So, so let's assume that parabola is from 2 to, to infinity and it's put 3 units down. So let's say the parabola comes like this. Kind of like this. Now, some c value will give a parabola like this. Now, since it is from 2 to infinity, I should actually only draw from 2 onwards. Let me draw some other possible values. Let's, let's say we could have like this also, right? This seems to be a better uh, situation. Now, if the C value is such that the parabola is to add to the values here, let us say, right? And this is included. That one is not included. In that case, we have a jump discontinuity. Do you see that? But there could be a value of C for which this parabola may just start from here and we get this kind of function. Now in that case, our function becomes continuous. Since this piece, the second piece, which is a parabola, fits in the first piece, which is a cubic function, and it makes the function continuous, that value of c is what we need to find. I hope you understand and appreciate the problem. And now, Let's try to do it, okay? So basically what we will do is, we'll equate cubic equation and the quadratic equation at x equals to 2 and then figure out what value of c makes it true. That's what we are going to do. So let's do it now. So basically, cx minus 1 whole q should be equal to c square x square minus 3 at x equals to 2. So that is what is going to give us the value of c which could make this piecewise function as a continuous function. Correct? So it may be 
yielding us some good values here. So let's expand it. You know how to do a minus b whole cube. If not, you can always use uh, Pascal's triangles, right? You remember Pascal's triangle? You start with one. Let me use another ink here to show you Pascal's triangle, right? So let me use this space for that purpose. So one, and then you go one like this, you get one, one, and then go like this, you get one, two, one, and then. So this is a very beautiful way of expanding any binomial to any degree, right? This is degree three. So the third row gives us the coefficients of degree three. So basically Pascal's triangle say if a plus b whole cube is equals to a cube plus three, these are the coefficients a square b plus three a b square plus b cube. See all these coefficients when you add them up will be three. So we'll use this formula here to expand cx minus one whole cube, right? You can look into my video on Pascal's triangle to understand and I did it in outdoors with my student that was with pine cones I hope you remember watch that video also okay now let's do this so see so before expanding also let me put x equals to 2 that will simplify the terms and make our job simpler so we can write this as 2c minus 1 whole cube equals to 2 squared is 4 4 c squared minus 3 fine now this when expanded will give me 8c whole cube oh sorry 2c whole cube 2 cube is 8 right so we get 8c whole cube that is the first term a cube and plus 3 times a square b so since this is minus b is minus 1 it becomes minus correct since it is minus right so 3 times a square which is 4c square b is minus 1 so I wrote minus now this third term is 3 3 times oh, I, I forgot to write 3 so it 3 times let me write 3 times 4c square plus 3 times a b square so a is 2c so let me write 2c here and then minus 1 because b cube b is minus 1 is this equals to 4c square minus 3 now let's bring all the terms to one side so we get 8c cube and this is 12 12c square and this is 6c minus 1 so I bring it here so because minus 4c square plus 3 equals to 0 okay now we can simplify this we have 8c cube c square terms can be combined which gives me 16c square plus 6c minus 1 plus 3 is plus 2 equals to 0 now all these terms are even terms coefficients and so what we can do is we can divide them by 2 in that case we get 4c cube minus 8c square plus 3c plus 1 equals to 0 so that's what we get now how to find the value of c from this cubic equation so what we should do is we should do utilize our factor theorem knowledge okay or rational factors so what are the possible factors which will give this c a value so that the left side is equal to 0 and make the equation true so the possible factors are only c equals to plus 1 or minus 1 right since 1 is the factor and the others are plus 1 minus 1 divided by 2 or divided by 4 correct because the coefficient of c cube is 4 so those are all the possible factors so the possible factors for us are c equals to plus minus 1 or it's plus minus 1 over 2 or it's plus minus 1 over 4 so these are all the possible factors let's plug it in one by one and let's try c equals to 1 to start with now if I write c equals to 1 here what do I get so I get 4 times 1 is 4 4 minus 8 is minus 4 
minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1 and minus 1 plus 1 is 0. So we get it works, right? So that means c equals to 1 leads to a factor and the factor should be c minus 1, correct? So we found that c minus 1 is our factor, okay? So c minus 1 is our factor since the left side is equal to 0. And now to find the other factors, we can do long division or we can do the synthetic division, okay? Uh, some of my students are still not very familiar with synthetic division and therefore I will do long division for you at the moment. So let's do long division here. I know I'm running out of space so I'll do some shortcuts. Okay, so this is my long division and I'm going to divide this by c minus 1. And I'm writing this function here 4c cubed minus 8c squared plus 3c plus 1. And uh, to divide, we need to see how many times will c go into 4c cubed. So it is 4c squared. So let's write down 4c squared here. So 4c squared times c is 4c cubed minus 4c squared. And when you take away, you get 8 minus minus 4c squared and you bring down the next term which is plus 3c minus 4c squared so I need to multiply by minus 4c that will give me minus 4c squared minus 4c minus minus makes it plus actually so it is plus 4c and when I do this takeaway that is 0 and this one gives me minus c plus 1 and that means minus 1 will give me minus c plus 1 and I get 0. So uh, I have factored my equation. So I can write this equation as this equation as now in the factored form, right? So I'm utilizing some of my space here. Correct. And I will use this. Okay. So we, we have here, this is equal to c minus 1 times 4c square minus 4c minus 1 equals to 0. Now we know one of the factors is c equals to 1. The other one is this quadratic equation. So let's use the quadratic formula to find the solution of this, right? So, okay. So that could give me c equals to minus b, which is 4, plus minus square root of b square, which is 16, minus 4ac minus 1 times minus 4 AC this gives me plus and so I get plus 16 here divided by 2a 2 times 4 is 8 so we are trying to find solution for this right now well this gives me 4 plus minus 16 square root is 4 square root 2 divided by 8 right well that gives me two values and the two values are, if I divide by 8, I get 1 plus minus square root 2 divide by 2. So, so these are also possible values. So basically, I got three answers, correct? And my answers are, here they are. So these values of C, which I'm trying to give you, let me push the page a bit in front so that things become absolutely clear to you. The, so the answers are, c equals to 1, c equals to 1 plus square root 2 over 2, and c equals to 1 minus square root 2 over 2. All the three values of c are the possible values for which the function could be continuous as shown in this case. Do you see that? So, so these three possible values will give, make the function continuous at x equals to Two. Do you see that? So at x equals to 2, if c is 1 or c is 1 plus minus square root 2 over 2, then we have a solution of this function being continuous at x equals to 2. But if c is not either of these three values, then we have a jump discontinuity as you can see or visualize from the situation. I hope you understand and appreciate this problem. Try to go through this video, there are too many things here to involve slowly and digest and enjoy the whole process.
of solving such kind of piecewise function. Okay, thank you.